Hi, my name is Jessica Muscovich, and for the herbal pharmacy class for module 11, we're studying herbal powders. So this week, I'm going to be utilizing ashwagandha, which is one of the powders we had in our medicine kit, and I'm going to be adding it to a smoothie that I like to drink all the time for breakfast. So um, ashwagandha is also called Lithania somnifera, and somnifera actually, I believe in Latin, means slumber or sleep or something like that. Um, and it's also, it's considered a well-known Indian equivalent to ginseng. Um, and it has a high iron content and it's liver strengthening. It also has a lot of other uh, fantastic constituents and properties to it. Um, but I'm gonna use it basically for the liver strengthening and just kind of as a tonic herb. So basically the smoothie I'm gonna make is called the Funky Monkey Smoothie. And it has, and it has ashwagandha in it. So it has one teaspoon of the ashwagandha a recommended dosage um, I've seen is about one to two grams per day. I'd say this is maybe about a half a gram or so that I'm gonna use. I'm going a little smaller with the dosage. And I have one banana, uh, about a quarter cup of peanut butter, um, about a quarter cup to about a half a cup of coconut milk, and then one teaspoon of cocoa powder. So I'm gonna put these in my magic bullet blender and then I'm just gonna blend them and I'm gonna enjoy it like I do on many mornings. Uh, with the addition of the ashwagandha. So first I'm going to put in my banana. I'm going to put in the cocoa powder. I'm going to put in the ashwagandha. And since um, herbs that are powdered, they are actually have more of their surface area exposed. So they actually um, will not retain their uh, medicinal properties as long. So if you powder an herb, you want to try to use it in a relative amount of time after you powdered it. So basically, then I'm gonna put in the peanut butter. It's a little sticky, so I'm just gonna use my spoon. Get it in there. And then the coconut milk. I'm gonna do about a half cup. If you need more, you can just add it in. Depends on how much fluid you want and how, you know, how big of a smoothie you want to drink. smoothies before and I had a hard time covering the taste but I think this one's gonna work so let's give it a little sip it's nice and creamy and it's kind of a variation of that nut butter the nut balls that um, we got the recipe for in our Adobe Connect so anyway I'm gonna give it a try it's mm, really good hope you enjoy it